Hey everybody, today I am going to show you how you can make an emergency toilet for home and it only costs about five or six dollars. It's super inexpensive but oh so important and you might instantly be thinking okay that is just silly because I have toilets in my house. They're always going to be working um, and no they might not always be working. So let's just talk really quickly about why you might want one of these DIY emergency toilets. Just the kit to have at home just in case of emergencies. First of all, if power or water was to be shut down, you might not have access to sanitation, which means flushing your toilet. Now, over the course of a day or two, it would be fine. You're probably just gonna put things in there and wait until the power comes on or the water supply comes back on and you can flush it all away. However, if the power does not come back on for a week or so, if the water supply is not restored and you don't have running water into your home to take care of the sanitation, things are gonna get stinky really, really quick, like really nasty smelling. Um, you might think, oh, I can go outside and just like go in the woods. And yes, that is true, except what do you do at night? What do you do when it's freezing cold and 30 degrees? What do you do when it is pouring down rain? Whether or not there is a threat of predators, whether human or animal outside. Um, also, what if the air quality is bad for some reason? That could be smoke or ash in the air. That could be some sort of chemical threat in the air. It could be viral. There could be a lot of different reasons. So this is one really important prep that I really want to uh, press upon you that it takes so little effort to get something like this prepped um, and to have it stored away in a closet or your basement. And then it can really make a big difference in um, your health, your safety, and taking care of what we all need to do several times a day. So let's get to it. So first of all, I'm going to have a five gallon bucket. Now this one I got at, can you see it? Firehouse subs. I bought them because they're like $3. You can get the bucket and you can get the lid all together. However, I didn't realize that pickle juice smells so strong and when it's in this bucket, it ain't ever coming out. That smell is just not ever coming out. So I decided to repurpose this one into my DIY emergency toilet, um, but you can honestly get one anywhere for about three or $4. But like I said, this one was $3 for me. Now, the other really important component of this system is going to be cat litter. Now, if your pets can use cat litter to take care of going to the bathroom indoors, you can too. This was $1.97 when I bought it at Walmart. Um, just very simple. I don't like ones that have fragrance in it. Uh, I don't like any of the fancy stuff. So just fragrance-free cat litter. And this is going to be poured into your bucket. And then you would just do the things that you need to do, number one and number two, and put that in there. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. All right, so I did empty this bag into a two gallon kind of zip top plastic bag because this fell off the cart at Walmart as I was leaving, had a hole in it. So you can put the cat litter in plastic bags if that works best for you for some reason. Um, so that's just what I'm going to do to keep the moisture out of this because this is a paper-based bag and to store it in a somewhat kind of damp environment would not be great. So you might want to just transfer it into something plastic. An extra addition that I did for this emergency prep toilet was to have an actual toilet lid. While it's not necessary, you could squat over the bucket if you needed to. Not all of us are able to squat that long. You might have physical problems and you can't squat. Um, this just makes it seem a little bit less horrible. Uh, so this is actually on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. This just snaps on, snaps on to the top of the bucket. Then you would sit on the bucket. This is also a great addition or a great thing to have if you are traveling, if you are road tripping, if you are camping and you want a portable toilet um, that works and is pretty cheap and easy to put together. So to use it, all you have to do is put the cat litter in the bucket. 
then you do your thing number one number two whatever you're gonna do so if you're doing liquid then obviously the cat litter would clump up and then you could just scoop it out as needed and put it in there's a bug flying around sorry and you could put it in to some trash bags now this is something also that i have in addition in my emergency prep toilet and that is these plastic bags um these are obviously free when you get them at the grocery store usually i've been recycling these but i've just felt called upon to like start saving these because you never know when you're going to have all these little messes that you need to easily throw away and you don't want to buy huge trash bags i've been storing them in repurposed containers um, these were like cleansing wipes i just stuffed them in there and then i am putting this in the bucket um, for storage so that I have that in there now if you are going number two if you are pooping in this emergency toilet you can just put the bag around the top of the container and do your thing into the bag without having to waste all the cat litter underneath and then dispose of it that way and then I added on a scoop I know this isn't a proper cat litter scoop, but it'll work to get the job done. This is from Dollar Tree, obviously $1.25, um, but that can go in and kind of scoop out anything that you need to get scooped out so that you can make that cat litter uh, last as long as possible. All right, so that is a quick and easy DIY emergency toilet that you can have stocked up at home. Now, I just put all of these items in the um, bucket and then you can just stack buckets if you already have buckets of other stuff in there you can put it in the garage in the basement put it in a closet whatever you need to do hopefully you never actually have to even use it but you know it's there if the power would go out if there was an emergency um, and you had no proper sanitation take care everybody let me know in the comments below what you're doing just in case the power and water go out of how you would handle going to the bathroom in your home and keeping it safe and not so smelly inside.